<coughs> and another thing we could do is check the, the, am the amplitude of the voltage here. The vertical divisions, you have one, two, uh, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, three point uh, seven divisions, three point seven times five volts per division. So the vertical from the bottom to the top, three point seven divisions times five volts per division. Now, divide that by 2, nine point two five. right? So from the bottom to the top was uh, 18 and a half volts. Divided by 2 gives you the amplitude of the voltage, 9.25 volts, but the voltmeter reads the root mean square of that, so divided by root 2. So this is known as the, the maximum voltage, right? And the root mean square voltage is going to be 9.25 divided by root 2. Here's the moment of truth. It better be 6. Point And again, happy faces here all over the place. You're going to see. OK? So <laughs> the theory is coming out. Yeah, so if we change the resistance, uh, the amplitude, did that change? Hold on, I didn't see it. Not that much, huh? If I make it quite bigger, let me. Raise it up. Oh, yeah, actually, no, that's measuring uh, um, voltage. So changing the resistance ain't going to change the voltage across the resistor. The voltage across the resistor is the same as the voltage across the source. Right? So changing resistance isn't going to change that. OK? That's just measuring voltage across the If I change the voltage of the source, You see, yeah, then it changes it, goes down. But if I change the resistance, it should change the current. You see, the current, right now, uh, I have the resistance at about 3,000-something ohms, and the current is 1 milliamp. You see? How about, let's do at least one more. Uh, 